I got five and a half pounds of clay right here. And I'm going to uh, try to do a casserole pot. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap center around first. And then a little trick, when it's going around like this, you take a dry finger at the bottom and you just hold it against the clay like that. I can't do it this way. And it seals the bottom of this clay to the bat and it prevents the water from getting up underneath it and the clay pushing off. So now we're gonna wet it down. We're gonna turn our wheel wide open. And we're going to try to simmer. Oh, see there? See how that happens? <laughs> I guess I didn't seal it good. So, that means we're starting over. I was pushing too hard on it. Trying to center, that's why it's still wobbly like that. Whew. It's a lot of work, y'all. <laughs> I have broke out in sweat. I'm going to use my weight to help center it. Now, see how we got it centered? So when you center it, you want to try to get your base down the bottom because that's going to be the bottom of your pot. So, you know, you can't have a little bitty pot with a big old bottom. I meant, yeah, a little pot with a big bottom or a big pot with a little narrow bottom is what I meant to say. So now I'm going to open it up.
Okay. Now I'm going to check and see how deep, how thick the bottom of my pot is going to be. Because you kind of want a little thick bottom of a pot. You know, because that's going to be taking the brunt of the heat. Okay, I'm going to go down just a tad more. Did you see how I did that? I took my needle too. I stuck it in there to the bottom of the bat and pushed my finger all the way down to the clay. So it's showing that it's that deep. So now that I got it, how deep I want it, I'm going to begin to open it up. And when you're centering, you want your uh, wheel to be wide open. But as far as opening it up, you don't want to go too fast. And then if your hands get dry and jerks on the clay, you're going to knock it back off center. And this hand over here on my right is just holding support. Uh, I'm, but you can't push in because you gotta allow the clay to be able to open up. Basically, what I'm doing right now is compressing on the bottom of the pot. Okay, I pulled a little hard. It's a little wobbly, but it's okay. Okay, we got the pot back in line. So now I'm going to begin to come up with the walls.
at the top part of the pot, you see how it wobbled again? It's okay. You want to keep it, the rim, thick because we're going to be putting in a gallery for the lid to sit on. Going down to the bottom of the uh, pot to try to lift up and pull some more of that clay up. Compress the rim. Okay, now I'm going to make a pull, and then I'm going to pull out a little bit to try to open up the pot. Okay, I'm easing off because I want my rim to be thick to make the gallery. I'll try one more little pull and see what I get. My fingers are starting to stick to the clay, that's why it's trying to wobble a little bit. But that's okay. I'm opening up the inside of the pot a little bit.
now I'm going to take my rubber rib and I'm going to try to smooth the pot and get all this silk, uh, silk off of the side of the pot. I'm going to clean up the water and the slip on the inside of this pot with the sponge. I'm going to put a swirl in the bottom of the pot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow the wheel down and I'm going to take my finger here and I'm going to compress this real quick and then I'm going to try to split this rim. I'm holding this little lip to compress it. That's the gallery. That's what the lid is going to sit on. Okay. You don't want any sharp edges on this because you don't want nobody to stick their hand in your pot and cut themselves trying to scoop something out. <laughs> Pulled up the, lint, uh, the rim a little bit, if you can tell. I'm just going to compress this some more. Basically, your rim has to be sturdy enough to hold that lid going on and off, on and off. Okay. Got that cleaned up. So now I am going to take off some bottom, some of the clay off the bottom with my wood knife. I should have had the camera set over here so you could have saw better. Next time I will. I'm just cutting off that extra clay that's around the bottom of the pot that's not needed. I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to stick it up under here like this and I'm just going to spin the wheel to cut this clay off.
see all this is extra clay that's not needed. That weighs the pot down. I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to go around the bottom of the pot before I put a foot. And we're going to have to measure the pot and I'm going to have to get up and get my calibers. This wooden knife, it's like a, it's medium size, and it puts a foot, this little groove will put a uh, ring, a foot on the bottom of the bowl. So I'm just going to hold it like at an angle and let it go around the bowl. And there's the foot around our bowl. Or not bowl, pot. <laughs> I keep calling it a bowl. It's a pot. Okay, now I'm going to get my calibers and then I'm going to take a measurement. Okay, I got my calibers. So we need the pot, the lid, to sit down into on the gallery. So... I gotta throw my lid. So I'm gonna set that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and I'm going to cut the bowl off. When you go to cut it off, you gotta hold it the wire tight to the back because you don't want to cut the uh, bottom of your pot. And you just pull the wire through. And then as you cut the pot off the bottom of the bat, and when it goes to dry, then uh, it's easier for it to dry. It won't crack as much bad. It shouldn't crack. Hopefully it don't. take this off. This is the bowl. You can see the gallery. You can see the foot. I'll finish cleaning this up as it dries some more. But this is our casserole pot. So now let's throw a lid for it. This right here you see on there, that's some clay that sometimes your bats get a little wobbly. Uh, where is my spatula? They get a little wobbly as you're uh, working on them, using them a lot, pulling and stuff. I got a pad that goes under there, but uh, this works just as good. See, you don't want this wobbly. So let's get this cleaned off. Okay, so the casserole dish was five and a half pounds of clay. So we're going to take uh, three pounds of clay and make the lid. I want enough clay to be able to dome shape my lid. But the lid is going to be thrown upside down. So I won't be able to start doming it and putting the top on until it dries. thing slap centering it helps it when it's a lot more clay you know you're not straining as much with your body to uh, center it if you can get it slap centered a little bit like this oh, I, my finger was wet 
but that should be good. So wide open speed, cone up. Don't look at my hair, y'all, if y'all see it. <laughs> it's a mess. It's okay if it's wobbling like that at the top. That's perfectly fine. Because you will take it out. Okay, let's go down, and I'm going to use my weight on it. And I am a messy part. See how my hands are wobbling? So it's not centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push. Bring it back up. And go back down. There we go, she's centered. It's a lot easier. I used to try to do it the other way, but you end up putting more strain on your body, working against yourself. It's so much easier to just use your weight to uh, push down, but I don't try to center big, large amounts of clay. If I'm gonna make a tall vase or something, I'm gonna throw it in pieces and put it together. I'm not as strong as a guy. <laughs> So now I'm going to open this up. Okay, now remember, you don't want to go too deep down in there because you got to leave enough for that for the top of the lid. So that's as far as I'm going to go, and I'm just going to open this up. Hands are getting dry, just trying to off wobble on me. Might if I slow the wheel down, that might be why it's getting off. I can put it back on. Okay, I'm going to compress the top of this lid.
Okay, I'm getting ready to make my first pour. I don't want the pot way too tall, you know, like a big old dome pot. Clay's dry now. Okay, it's easier, remember, when you're making a lid, basically it's easier if you make the lid and then just make the pot to fit the lid. But I did it backwards. You know, you can do it this way. A lot of people do it this way. But, you know, it's just easier if you uh, make the uh, lid first. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I know this lid is nowhere big enough yet for that pot. But I want to see where I'm at to where I'll know how much to go. Okay, look at there. I got about this much more I got to make this pot. And I'm leaving a, more clay on the top because that's what's going to take a lot of the brunt sitting up and down on the pot. And I'm doming this lid, y'all. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we're there. See that? So we've got our lid. I'm going to take just a tad bit more. Come up just a little bit more. Press this rim because this needs to be sturdy because this is what's sitting on and off that pot. You married to a man like I got. No telling how many times they look up in them pots. I'm just cleaning it up and compressing it around. Clean up on the outside of the wheel here. Get ready to cut off some of the excess clay around the bottom. I'm not going to be foot designing or nothing like that because remember this pot, is the lid is upside down. So when it dries, I'm going to have to flip it over and uh, trim it and car uh, to make it a dome shape. Let's take off some of the clay. Okay, let me find my lid, my needle tool. I've had this needle tool, y'all, uh, since college. I'm 
okay? Before I wire it off, I think I'm going to take my finger and put like a little, or my knife, where's my knife? Right here. And put like a little ridge. Like a little design. How's that look? Looks good, huh? Alrighty. I can always add more to it when it dries. So now, this is set. I'm not doing anything else. It has to dry. So now I'm going to wire it off. There we go. So, good to go, people. Now that's a casserole pot. So all we got to do is let it dry, trim it up, and then I'll bring you back. We'll add handles to it. Now I'm trimming the lid for the casserole pot. It's still a little tacky. But I kind of want to make this a little, a little dome shape. You can see how tacky it is. I should have waited a little bit longer, but. Okay, a lot of people will just put a little daub on top of here and throw the knob on top. I, I'm not going to do that. 
I'm not going to take the chance of messing up my dome lid. <laughs> so this is my lid right here. So let's get a top for it. See how that's wobbly like that? It's really not good, but I'm just throwing a, a little bitty knob so it'll be okay. Got me a little round piece of clay. Now I gotta get it to stick. <laughs> We don't want a big old knob, but we want one at least that our hands and gloves can get up underneath it if it's kind of hot. Take my wire cutter and I'll cut it off. Okay. I'll take my bat, put it right there. I'll take this bowl. I'm at bowl, I'm at lid. I'm gonna put it back on top. And I'm going to take this, and I'm going to score this right in the center. I'm going to add some water, and the only reason why I'm not adding slip is because of the fact that it is uh, will make its own slip. That's my husband. Okay, that was Todd interrupting. Okay. Let's see what I can do here.
use my wooden knife. Y'all believe I got a mess in here? My hair looks like a wild child. <laughs> I'm just smoothing out this where the uh that actually looks cute, don't it? See how I did that? I think I like that. Think the knob's too big? Leave me a comment if you think the knob is too big. But I like something, if I got my glove on, I want to be able to get a hold of it. I'm going to knock the grooves down on this, but leave the slip design in it. Okay, people. There we go. So what do you think? I'll bring y'all back and show y'all the finished product once it dries. If I decide to carve anything on it, I'll, I'll definitely film it. Um, if not, it'll dry and go in the kiln. I doubt it'll be able to go into this kiln firing because I'm planning on firing the kiln Thursday. So this is not going to be dry enough to fire Thursday. So I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and if y'all like this video, uh, please share it out. And if you'd like me to do more pottery videos, let me know. I haven't been doing them because I didn't think anybody really wanted to see me do pottery videos. But if you're interested in that, let me know, and I don't mind doing some pottery videos. So thank y'all, and God bless.